Oh, let's see. Let V be an n-dimensional vector space. It doesn't say anything about what the nature of the space is. It just says n-dimensional. We don't know what the objects are. Space, uh, oh, vector space, n-dimensional vector space. And let S equal to V1, V2, all the way to Vn be a basis. Be a basis for V. Okay. Okay. Uh, we know that for V, a vector V in the vector space V, we can, because this is a basis, we can write it as a series of constants, C1 times V1, just a linear combination of the elements of the basis. That's the whole idea of a basis. Linearly independent spans the entire space, and every vector in that space can be written as a linear combination, a unique linear combination, in fact. 1 plus C2 V2 plus C, N, V, N. Okay, so let's just throw that out there. So now let us define our linear map which takes V and maps it to the space R, N, to N space. So some n-dimensional vector space V, it's going to map to our n-dimensional Euclidean space R, N, and defined by L of V, whatever the vector is, I end up taking its, whatever the vector is, I end up with a coordinate vector. So I have some vector V in some random vector space that has this basis. Well, anything in V can be written this way. Therefore, this V, what it does is it takes this V and it, exp and it maps it to the Rn space which is the list of coordinates, which is just the constants that make up the representation from the basis. So I'm taking a vector v, and I'm spitting out the coordinate vector of v with respect to this basis s. OK, is this linear map, is, I'm sorry, is this map linear? Is L linear? We don't know if it's linear. We just know that it's a mapping from one space, from one vector space to another. OK, well, let's check A. A, we need to check whether the sum of two vectors in V, question mark, does it equal L of U individually plus L of V? OK, well, let's do it. L of U plus V is equal to, well, that's, we use our definition. That's, we just plug the definition in. That's equal to u plus v, the coordinate of that. Well, we already know that the coordinates are themselves are linear. So this is equal to the coordinate of u with respect to s plus the coordinate of v with respect to s. But that's just L of u plus L of v. So I've shown that this equals that. So part a is taken care of. So now let's do part B. We need to show that L of K times U does it equal K times L of U? Well, L of K times the vector U is equal to K times U. It's the coordinate vector of KU. But the coordinate vector of k times u with respect to s is equal to k times the coordinate vector of u with respect to s. That's equal to k times L of u, because that's the definition. So we've shown that L of ku equals k times L of u. So yes, b is also taken care of. So this map that takes any vector from a vector space with a given basis and spits out, that does something to it, and spits out the coordinate vectors 
the coordinate vector with respect to the basis S, which is just the coefficients that make it up, um, this is a linear map. That's all we're doing. We're just checking the definition. Okay. 